Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we are going to do a bit of a update video on the Gator Grind and uh, kind of show off what I have for my setup right now. I've had quite a few people asking me what I do for the Gators, how I hunt them efficiently and what is the best routes to take when trying to grind them. And I think I've kind of worked out the best path to take to uh, make the best out of your time gator hunting. Now, normally I wouldn't be starting right here, but because of hunting pressure reasons, we are starting right here today. But a typical run for me is going to start at this tent down here. And then what we do is we spawn in at this tent, take out any gators we see in that area, and then we just run up the coastline and shoot gators as they run into the water. Obviously, you guys have seen me do that many, many times, but this is kind of the route that I take. We end up here at this outpost post right here then we will fast travel over to this area and there's lots of uh, gator zones throughout this area right here that we can shoot gators from and the best part about this one is this whole little section of water right here is actually very shallow so they can't actually get away from you you have plenty of time to take shots at them and then what I do after I kill those gators is I'll come down to this spot right here and just kind of run along as we are right now and then eventually you'll get gators coming from these trees over here and you'll be able to take shots at them as they run away. You can also get gators on this bank right here and uh, this bank over here. So that's also a couple spots that you can uh, look out for them. This has been a, a pretty decent area right here along with all the ones that I just showed off and in fact a gator just got away. Uh, unfortunate. But the very last location we take a look at is down here. I have a tent set up right here. I usually spawn there and then run up this direction and you'll get gators running straight down here to try and get to this deeper water. I don't know why, but for some reason they don't have any place they can go up here. So they have to run all the way down to around where the tent is in order to be able to get away. It makes for really easy picking off the gators, which is really nice. Uh, that's probably like the best thing you can ask for with the gators is having a very large area for them to run around before they can actually get into the water. So that is typically the types of areas that I look for. But that's my little setup for the gators. So I think what we're going to do for the rest of this video is probably jump into multiplayer and see if we can find any gators at some of these spots that I've mentioned just uh, in these last couple minutes. I also did forget to mention that my rifle of choice for the Gators is the Eckers 30-06, but you can use the 303 or whatever rifle you feel comfortable with as well. I just like the Eckers because it seems to be a very satisfying weapon to use for them, and it's got a total of four shots, and it has decent enough power to take them down pretty quickly when you're hitting those neck shots, which is what you want to be aiming for when you're hunting the Gators. Neck shots are a very vital part in taking them down quickly. If you aim for anything else, there's a pretty good chance that it's not going to die very fast and it'll probably get away. Uh, brain shots are pretty decent as well, but it's a little bit of a smaller target than the neck bone is, so I always go for the neck bone. Well, this is kind of how a lot of the gator hunting goes for me. We end up taking uh, running shots on gators that are heading to the water. A lot of times you just want to get a neck shot in like that. This is a pretty small gator right here. And typically I try to spot the gator before I take a shot on it just to make sure it's not going to be like a level 9 or a rare or anything like that. But you do end up taking a lot of running shots like this. And this is kind of where you want the shots to land is right there in the middle neck. Uh, it's definitely the easiest place to get them, and that is a level 6 right there as well. Uh, we definitely hit it. Not vitals, though. And yeah, that guy's probably going to get away. There will be quite a few that get away, which does make multiplayer a little bit more difficult for the gators. However, a lot of times, if you just leave them alone and don't shoot them once they get into the water, they will come back. Uh, usually within 20 or 30 minutes, so there is hope if it does make it to the water. If it's something special like uh, that piebald right there. Okay. Well then, uh, this video was supposed to be about a piebald gator that I killed. But uh, that is another piebald gator right there. And I think that's the very last pattern I needed. What are the odds of that? And now we just got to try and get close enough because that is in not exactly a great spot. This is going to be difficult, but I think we should be able to uh, get up there. Let's get the mark as accurate as we can. 
That is pretty insane. I didn't expect to be finding something like that, but that's why I played multiplayer. I already kind of knew what was on my map, so I figured we might as well head into multiplayer and see if we can find anything special, and that is definitely a special gator right there. So let's try to get a little bit closer and get that guy on the ground. This is a really good sized gator as well. It's a nice level seven, and I do think this is the very last piebald pattern that I need. I'm pretty sure I've got all of the others, and this is the only one I didn't have. So, I guess before we take it out, let's actually take a look at the gator that we got during the live stream because it was a brand new pattern that we didn't have. It was the very the uh, fourth pattern that we were able to acquire, and it is a really awesome looking gator. So let's go ahead and check out that clip from the live stream because it was a pretty crazy moment. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy! That's a mythical piebald, and it's the pattern I want. Um, I'm not gonna rush this shot. I'm gonna be careful. Oh my gosh, there we go, guys. Finally. This is the type of thing I was trying to get to spawn. This is what I've been after. Uh, let's go claim that six. That is exactly what I have been trying to get to spawn with this grind. Oh my gosh, that is amazing looking. Holy, that thing is beautiful. This is exactly what this grind has been for, is that pattern right there. Oh my gosh. Finally, guys. Finally. So, I've been grinding gators for about three days now. Actually, it might be four at this point. I think it's four days. I've been grinding gators for three or four days. I uh, shot probably a couple hundred of them. And, uh, yeah, this is what we've been waiting for. This is exactly what I've been trying to get to spawn. Uh, let's go reset the time and try that. Multi-man with albino raccoon. That would be pretty sweet. Because we currently have the uh, multi-mount with the two melanistics. That would be a pretty cool one to have. The piebald with the uh, albino. I think that would work out pretty well. There it is. That's it right there. That's our gator. That's our gator right there. Mythical piebald. What a beauty. It's resting right there. Okay, this is perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Okay, that thing's downwind. How is it not spooking? It's downwind. Uh, I should probably take advantage of that. We got it. There we go. It's down, guys. We got it down. Mythical Piebald alligator. This is probably one of the best gators I've killed. Uh, the albino and melanistic might be better, but they were really low level. So I'd say this might be the best one I've killed. Oh, look at that thing. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I love the way these things look. So cool looking. Holy. Ah, my voice is dying. Alright, well, here we go. Let's see what this uh, bad boy scores. Got a feeling this is going to be a pretty good one here. 471. Oh my gosh. That is uh, quite the high scoring piebald gator. Wow. 471.20. Now that is a trophy gator right there. That is a really good looking gator. This is like exactly what I was wanting out of this grind. There's one more pattern we still need to get, so we'll probably continue grinding them off and on. But uh, we've pretty much completed our collection. Just one more piebald to go and we'll have every uh, different kind of gator. So one of the problems we're going to run into here is the fact that the wind is in a terrible angle. I think if we keep shifting to the left, we might get lucky and just be able to avoid it. But this is definitely not ideal. This is going to make things so much more difficult, and I'm just not really looking forward to the wind shifting any more than it already is, because this could be very bad. We might end up losing this thing, or it taking a lot longer than we'd like, just because this wind does not want to cooperate. But we're going to do our best to get very close and take a shot on this thing, and just try to get it down. 
all else fails we can probably shoot it more than twice and just sacrifice the metal just so we don't lose the thing but I'd like to get full score because this is pretty much a guaranteed gold so it'd be nice if we could get this thing with a perfect neck shot uh there it is right there it's alarm now this actually might be our chance Okay, we messed the shot up. No! Oh my gosh, that is... Oh, that's rough. Well... I suppose it's now time for the waiting game. I don't know how that first shot did not connect the way that we wanted it to. That looked like a good shot. But, yeah, that thing lived. Now it's gonna be just time to wait it out and hope that it comes back to shore otherwise we'll probably never see that thing again and I think it just died oh no it just died and I'm pretty sure it's sunk well then that's uh, a typical gator hunting to be honest this isn't the first one that I've done that with that's quite unfortunate that is very unfortunate oh my gosh well that's a level 9 and uh, it looks like it was spooked off at some point. I don't think I was the one that spooked it. There is uh, quite a few other people in this server, as you guys can see down here. I don't know how we're going to do this. That guy might just be in a terrible spot, and I doubt it'll come back to shore anytime soon. We're going to have to just kind of wait for it. That's crazy. Of course, when I finally find a level 9... It is completely out in the water and probably won't come back to shore for quite a long time. Honestly, our luck has just been terrible with the gators today. We sunk a piebald that I needed and uh, now we've got a level 9, but it's really far out and probably won't come back anytime soon. Alright, so we are incredibly close to where we saw that level 9 gator or at least where his need zone was. So I've decided to uh, kind of crouch down and just sneak up on that area and hope that he ends up being there. I took a little bit of time to hunt in other areas. I uh, didn't really find anything too good, but that was mainly just so that I could give this guy some time to finally calm down. Because he's been giving us a ton of trouble and I'm hoping that he's not still out in the water. It would be amazing if he's on land already. But I guess we shall see. We're just going to take it extra slow and do our best to get this guy on the ground. Okay, so that very well could be him. That is a mating call from a gator. There was a 7 with the 9, so it could just be the 7. Uh, this level 8 is still out in the water. This guy was kind of around their area, so that does worry me a little bit that maybe the 9 won't be back on shore, but... Uh, the fact that we just got a mating call is a very good sign. Let's just hope it's the correct gator. Okay, that is really close to the shore. And there it is. That's our level 9 right there. It's in the water, though. That's not good. Oh, we definitely don't want it right there. And it's going straight into the wind as well. Oh, this just could not be any worse. Let's just try to back up. I don't want this thing to spook off again. That would just make this 10 times more difficult. We got to play this safe and just kind of back off let him return to the shore if we can and then do what we can to get him down this has been quite a back and forth chase and i just don't want him to uh spook off well it does appear that it is coming back to shore finally i just had to back up as much as i could and now it is uh finally coming to shore i think although it is still acting kind of strange i i don't know about this gator this thing has been so weird I need to just get as far away as I can because it is still just acting incredibly strange and we're getting to a spot where like the wind is just going to progressively get more and more towards him so we really got to be careful. This has been a tough gator to take down and I really just don't want it to spook off again otherwise this last 40 minutes of waiting will be for nothing. So I genuinely have no clue where this guy is going. He has swam from clear over there to here, and he's just continuing to go from left to right. I'm going to assume he's probably got a zone somewhere over here and he's trying to get to it, but it's so difficult to tell because multiplayer gators act weird regardless. Uh, it's just going to become a waiting game at this point. I'm just happy that we didn't spook it off again so we can kind of figure out where it's going at least. 
But this is definitely strange. Well, at this point, I think it's time to give up on this gator, unfortunately. It is about 300 meters out now, and it just keeps on swimming, so I don't think there's any chance of us getting this guy. We're probably just going to have to cut our losses here and just move on. It is what it is, but I have spent over an hour and a half waiting for this guy, and he's just not been cooperating. So we're probably just going to move on from here and uh, call it a day. Let's uh, jump into the lodge and take a look at that mythical piebald, and then we will end the video. Well, I really don't know what to replace in here, but a couple of you wanted me to put this guy in a multi-mount with our albino raccoon, and now we just got to figure out a place to actually put it. I have absolutely no clue where this could even go, but I think what we're going to end up doing is actually moving one of these white tail mounts to a different room so let's take that down let's actually move that as well and we'll put our brand new not a log right here i think that does look pretty good it's a uh, very good looking multi mount and it's right across from our double melanistic multi mount so i think that'll work out pretty well and then we will put our uh, rare white tail deer right here if i can find the correct one uh, yeah i think that's it yeah that's uh, definitely the right one. So we'll leave that right there. And then we'll probably go replace one of these over in this other room. Actually, I don't really think there's anything else I can replace. So we'll probably just not uh, put down that white tail one. I really don't even know what to do with this lodge anymore. There's a few things that I'd love to uh, keep in this lodge, but there's just not enough spaces to do it. I think it's almost time we start working on our secondary lodges a little bit more and uh, trying to fill them out a bit because I'm running out of spots in this main lodge for uh, trophies that I'd like to keep in here. Like there's a lot of trophies I'd love to uh, keep in this lodge but there's just not enough room for it so uh, we're going to be stuck with uh, having to delete one of the ones that we really want to keep in here. I guess we'll keep this like this for now. We'll put the turkeys somewhere else. Uh, honestly, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm going to have to take a little bit of time one of these days and just rearrange everything and do what I can to make things the best they can be. But uh, until then, thank you guys for watching this video. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on what you guys enjoyed most about this video and what you guys think we should grind for next because I do want to continue the gator grind and try to get the last piebald pattern since we kind of screwed that up in this video. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want me to do and I will reply to as many of the comments as I can. And uh, yeah, I will see you all in the next one. Peace!